People play golf for many different reasons, and this is mine. Solo golf could be seen as very unsociable, and I suppose in many ways it is. But for me, golf is a perfect time for some solitude, which is rare in most hectic lifestyles. And in those moments, I'm not concerned with what I score or what my handicap is. Although, let's be clear, I'd rather play well than poorly. I don't need to beat others or win competitions anymore. I play the course in front of me and the demons in my head, both of which provide ample enough challenge. In all honesty, my perfect golf is nine holes with a half set, maybe 12 holes and a push. I really do wish there were more nine hole courses as I think it would encourage a whole new demographic to play the game. Lives are busy, the balance of work, life and parenting mean free time is minimal or a younger demographic that just don't want to spend four or five hours playing golf. I feel sure a shortened version of this game would be popular. Anyway, back to my golf. For me, the feeling of hitting a pure iron is one of the most fulfilling feelings in life and where the ball finishes is simply a byproduct. I also find that golf with zero expectation will generally mean I play better golf. The brain is often the part of the body that impacts on performance far more than any swing mechanics might. Please let me know if you agree. It wasn't until I had mentally retired from any form of competitive golf did I learn to appreciate all that had previously passed me by when walking the fairways. Many people choose to walk mountains to gain vantage points to breathtaking views. I would advise a stroll around a golf course, far less energy required and for my travels around the UK, I have found that most golf courses can be found in the most picturesque corners of any town or village they might be found at. Wallasey is an incredible golf course, and in the past few years has gone through a transformation that has elevated its status to one of the very best links golf courses in the UK. The course was designed by old Tom Morris and the Stableford scoring system was created by Wallasey member Frank Stableford. Every aspect of Lynx golf is presented within your round of golf here. Revetted bunkers, firm fairways, undulating greens, 
high dunes and low hillocks. And of course, the likelihood of a wee breeze. With the sun shining, the light became perfect for a mid-round photo shoot. Just how good does this place look? And don't forget, it's November in the UK. Playing golf in the UK at this time of year can see many shifts in the weather and as the darkening skies descended and the recent loss in daylight hours, it was time to draw my quick visit to a finish. I was only able to show you a brief glimpse of Wallasey Golf Club, but hopefully enough to help you understand why this place is high on everyone's to-do list and also the reason I love to walk the fairways alone. It was time to get back to the van, get the kettle on, and I've got a bit of an update for you. When I say update, it's probably more of a thank you first and foremost. Since I posted my video announcing that there's going to be a real change in the content last week, that video has amassed over 50,000 views and the feedback has been absolutely incredible. Everybody's so positive about the new approach we were going to take and the content that I was aiming to produce. But to have that feedback, and that validation in the comments meant a huge amount. So for everybody that takes the time out to post a comment, just let me tell you that it means a heck of a lot. It's just an encouragement that you need sometimes to make that switch. And I'm so glad that we've already made a minor adjustment in, a, in, in producing content that we can be proud of once again. Today's video was just a little kind of insight into how things are gonna move forward and the news that I have for you in terms of the update is that as of next week, I'll uh, be in the van. We set sail, kind of, and we will start this whole journey in producing the content 
all around the UK and Ireland to start with and hopefully we get further afield and uh, you enjoy watching it as much as I enjoy filming and producing it. So huge thank you. If you've enjoyed what you've seen today, the same applies. The only way this can be a success is if you carry on to su supporting it. So post a comment, hit the like button, do all those things just to let us know that we're working in the right direction and uh, I'm enjoying my coffee. Wallace was fantastic. I'll see you all next week.